everyone, thanks for coming back for another segment of the MCR. Back is to my left. Mr. Thirsty is moving around, making noise on the phone. Uh, he is going to be joining us in this for this segment uh, via telephone. My name is TJ. Please like, share, and subscribe. We're on multiple platforms. BitChute, Rumble, YouTube, and YouTube. Uh, and right now we seem to be doing the best on uh, BitChute. But uh, whatever platform you're watching us on, thanks everyone. And, and uh, you know, please, uh, please spread the word. Okay? In this segment, I want to talk about uh, uh, President Brandon uh, doing his little rant on the whole ghost gun thing. And uh, Mr. Thirsty being on the phone with us, he has some uh, advanced technical expertise in this field. So I, I asked him if he could uh, join us via telephone for his comments on this, on this uh, issue. But uh, for those who could be totally unaware, and, I know, and I'd be kind of surprised at this point, but the, 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 with these ghost guns, you got what's called 3D printers, and that's almost a misnomer because in, in one of these situations, it's almost like a 3D grinder, not necessarily a printer, but uh, nevertheless, it takes a block of material or, or, or material in, in one form and, and is able to transform it into a lower receiver. Uh, from the lower receiver, from that point on, you can build your own gun. And am I on the right track, Mr. Thirsty? Um, yeah, actually, well, like, it, like what Biden was he's talking about with these ghost guns is the majority of these ghost guns he's talking about are stolen guns that have material numbers that are filed off. They're not, they're not even these 80% build kits that, uh, that uh, the ATF has already rated 80% lowest for all their, uh, their shipping information. Uh -huh. um, he, you know, he, he makes it sound like your average everyday Joe can just order these kits like you would, you know, a Tupperware kit from the seventies and and build an arsenal. It's not that easy. Well, I mean, if it was that easy, everybody would be doing. It. Well, and 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 you, like Mac, you kind of came to one of my points, but uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you know the. And, and this is what I was telling Mac, and, and if I explained it wrong, please feel free to correct me. But what I was telling Mac is, as far as Mac and me, it would be cheaper to go to the store and buy one. Whereas if someone had a pre-existing machinery shop, pre-existing machinery, you can order uh, uh, Windows uh, uh, operated uh, uh programs with with the specifications to the lower receiver already in this program and then you take like a, a hunk of metal of uh, a certain dimension and we'll say because whatever you know may and i don't know if it's got to be eight by six or something but well they they, they actually sell it. it's called a zero percent blank yeah it's actually a chunk of aluminum yeah that is is already uh pre pre-cut or uh, Bridgeport Mills. Yeah, and and then and then with the and we'll call it a 3D printer, even though I think of it more in terms as a grinder, maybe. But you know, you stick it in there, and it literally drills it out to the specifications set in the computer program. My point being, Mac and I don't have the machinery shop to do this. Uh, you would have to have pre-existing machinery to do this, but. Uh, uh, at that point, I, I guess if you want to become a gun manufacturer, you, you might want to uh, make sure you're uh, legal in, in your activity. You know? Well, I've worked at places that, that use 3D printers, and these things cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Oh, yeah, they're not cheap. So if I were to want to get an illegal gun or a gun that couldn't be traced or, or whatnot, I would certainly spend that money in, in just obtaining them. Well, you, you, can, you can buy a uh, what I would what most people would call a cheap 3D printer that uses the, uh, the filament and whatever. But I, I would not use that material to build a, a receiver. That thing would blow up in your hand. I mean, they, they have 3D printers that actually print aluminum. Yeah. They actually print a metal frame. But you're also talking about, they uh, I think they're right around $18,000. 
Well, again, like I said, you have to, you almost have to have to have to have the pre-existing infrastructure to even begin. It's a hell of a lot of trouble to get a gun. Yeah, it really is. You know what? You know the common Joe. Let's just and, and we're we're going to talk about the common everyday man making his own gun isn't going to happen. <laughs> You know, for the same reason, I don't build my own computer. I didn't build this microphone we're using here today. I just, uh, it's easier just, it's easier and cheaper just to get it. Yeah, to buy it legally. And well, this is what's funny is, I, I, have, I have built my own gun, you know, from parts. Uh-huh. And I, I have attempted to, uh, to mill out my own uh, 80% lower. It, it turned into a, uh, a scrap paperweight because it got all jacked up. It's not, like I said, it's not that easy. Well, um, and it, it has to be to like precise dimensions. The cost value, it's like Mac was saying, it's it's just, it's really just a lot easier to go to a Dunn's or Bass Pro Shop or whatever and just go buy what you want. Going to the point that, to build it. going to the point that this is more blah, 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 blah from um, Brandon and crew. You know, well, it, I see it this way. Not too long ago, they they sat down and they had their collection of people where they hand out all the pens and all these people behind the president signing a bill, an anti-lynching bill. I, I already thought it was illegal to lynch people, and no one's been lynched in decades. So they're trying to make you think that you know, twice a week a black person is getting lynched. It just isn't happening. It's a lie. Like everything they that comes out of their damn mouths is a lie. This is just another version of that. Well, if I could follow up on that thought. This is a theory of mine. As I've said repeatedly, I love to theorize. Assault weapon didn't really get the traction they wanted. So now they're using the term ghost gun. You know? Well, too many people have found out that AR means not automatic rifle. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I, I think they're searching for... Uh, their next uh, scare tactic, wicked term, yeah, to get the people to succumb to whatever they want to do in in the area of uh, uh, gun ownership. It's mislabeling of things like uh, the Affordable Health Care Act, which was never affordable, not n not affordable, and it surely wasn't. You know, like we're getting off topic, yeah. but I had to go into the VA; it was so affordable. Yeah. So, anyways, I digress. <laughs> so they, yeah, they obviously they have an anti-gun agenda. Uh, they want our guns in the worst it's, it's way. It's all about it's all about this this backdoor gun gun legislation for the um for the gun registry. They 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 want to know. They they've already said it before that they want to know what you have, how many you have, where you keep it, and they they've actually made mention they want to make this public. They, they actually want to put this out on the public list so I know what you have, TJ, and I know what you have, Mac, and you know what I have, and it's just a list of just like every job that I've had. Yeah. So, in any event, uh, you know, this, I, ju I just wanted to throw my thoughts out there about this ghost gun nonsense, and and it's, it's, it's just their latest scare tactic to achieve uh, uh, more... Uh, government regulation, you know, infringement on uh, on the Second Amendment rights, I'll say. You know, I just... Uh, yeah, it, TJ, it's just one, one more thing I want to throw out before we, we uh, call this a segment, is I've, I've known people that have done, uh, let's, let's, let's say they, they, they've been uh, guests of the state for five to ten years, and they, they have told me about what they were able to build in these luxurious hotels, what they've actually been able to build with limited supplies. And that's behind Literally. bars. <laughs> that's behind bars. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, you, you really think if you, if you take away our means, you, you, you really think that's going to stop criminals from doing what they do? They don't care about our laws, clearly, and they're not afraid of the police. Yeah. So that that's all that's that's all I got for this one. If any either of you two have any final thoughts before we wrap up, final thoughts, Mister Thirsty. No, I, I like I said, I, I got what I I, I I can go all day with this. It's it yep. pisses me off. We do encourage everyone to purchase uh, an AR legally. Uh, 
uh, if their finances uh, allow it. Uh, it's, it is one of the most, uh, the platform that's most easily modified legally, we'll say, you know, as far as uh, what you can put on it, what you can add to it. It doesn't kick much at all. I mean, uh, a woman or, or a, a fairly young child, I, when I say child, I mean uh, junior high, we'll say, can shoot it without, without uh, too much difficulty, we'll say. But uh, in any event, uh, that's it for now. I'll cease my rambling. And uh, we'll catch you in the next segment. Thanks, Mr. Thirsty, for joining us. As always, Not be safe. As always, be safe. Watch your six. And don't tread on me.